this time also I'm so happy with margin detection. A small adjustments may be needed. A little bit. Almost good. Maybe over here. Oh, this is good. Perfect. And the insertion. In case that we have wrong insertion, it maybe show us some kind of other good thing. Look over here. So it's better to first prepare the tooth that has no undercut, especially when we are going to prepare it like three quarter crown. And after that, we are need to uh, choose the right direction. We could, for example, choose this direction, but the milling will not mill here and the margins are in undercut. So it may be better to choose direction like this. And as we know, the uh, undercut in the laminates are so rare because uh, we don't have opportunity to uh, make undercuts. Okay, the gap we talked about before, but we are talking about a little bit more. As you can see, there is no cement green and the cement gap yellow. We could increase it or decrease it, but I prefer 0 0.5, 0 0.05. And sometimes we need a second uh, part, like in case that we have sharp edges and we want to sure that this sharp edges doesn't ruin our gel. Okay, I will choose point eight okay so if we watch in uh in the blue parts we have a little bit more space between our restoration and the tooth Okay, I reset all the markings. I don't need it right now because my preparation is okay and my scanner is perfect and I don't need any adjustment. But in case that you have problem with your scanner or the sharp edges, uh, this is the way that you can be sure that your laminate will be seat and you have perfect result. I use cut view so I could put the tools in proper place. This is almost good. Okay. I'll check this also. Yeah, it looks good. And this one looks good. Okay. 